Hey everyone, welcome back to TCO Performance Center. Wabi joined by new Vikings offensive advisor and assistant head coach, Gary Kubiak. Welcome to Minnesota, Coach well, Kubiak. Thank you. It's a little cold this week, but uh, it's great to be here. You'll get used to it. <laughs> You're a tough guy. I can handle it. Yeah, you can handle this. And your son's been able to tell you about the cold Minnesota winters. Clint's been through this before. Yeah, obviously he was here, I think, three years, you know, yeah. So, uh, and his wife is from here, so I get a little first-hand knowledge before yeah. I made the trip. Yeah. You know, Coach, this whole thing's about getting to the Super Bowl and winning the Super Bowl, right? Absolutely. That's what everyone's trying to do. You've been there seven times and you've won it four times. What's it like? Well, it's the ultimate. I mean, it's why you do what you do. And uh, But you realize real quickly in this business, uh, you got to be surrounded by a good football team and a lot of great people, you know, from an organization standpoint, a coaching standpoint. So uh, that's why I'm here. I really think, think the world of your head coach and uh, believe in this organization. and. I wasn't quite through yet, so I'm looking forward to teaching yeah. a little bit more. Well, you've been a head coach at a couple different places, so you have experience doing that, and you've won a Super Bowl as a head coach. So in your role as an offensive advisor to a coordinator who's going to be a coordinator for the first time, but to a head coach who's a veteran coach in this league, how do you see yourself fitting in? What is your role, and, and how do you see 2019 going? Well, I just, you know, I look so forward to it because, you know, it is different for me, but I... I know Kevin very well, and that's one of the reasons I'm here because I believe in him and what he's mm -hmm. what he's about to do. I think he's got a bright future, and so I'm looking forward to helping him out in any way I can. And and like I said, I've respected Zim. I, I love how Zim runs his football team and how he believes you win in this league. I share that that passion and that that view with him. So, you know, for me at this stage in my career to still be a part of an organization, to still still be a part of coaching mm -hmm. uh, in a little bit different uh, uh, way. Uh, it's still very motivating for me. So, so hopefully there's another one here, another yeah. championship down the road. You know, you've uh, you've worked with and been around a lot of quarterbacks mm -hmm. in your day. So I think you, as well as anyone, understands that there's only, not just one way to play quarterback, not just mm -hmm. one type of offense to have. But here in Minnesota, with Kirk Cousins and with the the playmakers that mm -hmm. are here. What's the style going to be, do you think? Well, I, first off, I think Kirk can do whatever you ask him to do. Uh, you know, I know him pretty well. Uh, Coach Shanahan, I worked for for many, many years, and, and Mike's very close to Kirk and coaching before he and Kyle. So I've had conversations with him. But, uh, you know, I just look forward. I, the, the verbiage that I've been a part of my whole career, actually, Kirk's been a part of it. So there's a quick transition there, you know, for, for us talking football. You know, it's not like starting from scratch. We'll, yeah. We'll pick up right where he's left off and I've left off from that standpoint. So uh, the Vikings are very fortunate to have a great player like that and a great leader. So we'll do everything we can to help him out and and uh, put him in the best possible position to move the football. All right, now I'm going to get you out of here on this one because uh, <laughs> you've been around the game a long time, but you're, you're, you're sort of an AFC guy, right? So maybe not a ton of run-ins with the Vikings, but you played in this league and you've coached in this league for a long time. Vikings fans are watching right now. Any Vikings memories for you? You remember? Going, yeah, I have you know, one. I have one that's not real good though. But you guys will probably enjoy. I want to hear. Story. It. Yeah, we're uh, we're playing the Vikings in the Metrodome right mm -hmm. uh, years ago, and Elway got hurt. We were up by I think we we're up by ten when he got hurt, and so I went in the game and and I dropped back and I threw a, an out route. And I'll never forget this. And I threw it and I got hit, and I'm laying on the turf and I heard the crowd go crazy and I thought, well, that's not good for us if they're they're cheering. So. I see Joey Browner going the other way yeah. with one of my passes. So, yeah, I remember that there well. There you go. But, uh, hopefully there will be a lot better times, and I'm looking forward to being part of it. Okay, well, I don't know to, whether to be worried about you or not, you know, because you're going to walk around the hallways here. You're going to see Scott Studwell. You know, you probably ran into him on a football Many field. Times. Right? Many times, right? Yeah. Many times, yeah. Well, there's a lot of great players here. Gary Zimmerman, who was here, I, I coached in Denver yeah. for a long time. But uh, you walk the halls here, and first off, this building is – one of the, I mean, it's the nicest thing I've ever seen in this league, to be honest with you. And to see the great players, the tradition here, uh, Coach Wigan walking around the building, yeah. you know, and see some coaches, uh, it's just really special. So being a part of it, them giving me a chance to be a part of it means a great deal. Yeah, well, we're very happy that you're here, and we're happy you took some time to join us today. Good luck this offseason getting everything the way you want it to go, and we'll see you down the road, all right? Feeling is mutual. Thank you very much. You bet.